President Trump wrote on Twitter, don't be afraid of COVID. Don't let it dominate your life. Don't let it dominate your life. In terms of responding to to a comment like that, it's gross. It's okay to be afraid of COVID, and it's okay that that it's dominating your life. Everyone should be afraid of COVID. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. I can't come in, Mom. It, it's there. It's because of this flu thing. We won't be free of this pandemic until we listen to the acknowledged truth. Listen to the scientists. Science is truth. You know, science is truth. What is the impact to public health when people are openly questioning the science? Now is the time to do what you're told. (laughs) By not hearing the truth, by not listening to the scientists, they are prolonging how bad the economy will be. When I see somebody out in the world who's not wearing a mask, I instantly think you are a threat (laughs) or you are selfish or you are a COVID denier and you definitely haven't been vaccinated. You don't wear a mask. What does this have? Are you vaccinated? I am triple vaccinated. So why are you wearing the mask? Seek out the scientists and listen to their advice. Listen to the scientists. Listen to the scientists. Trust the experts. We're going to trust science. We're going to trust the experts. Parents who say, well, I need to do my own research. Makes you think of that cartoon I saw of the tombstone that said, I did my own research. Republicans have given their voters license to believe whatever they want to believe. Heard somebody saying, listen to the scientists. Do that. Let's listen to the scientists. That phrase, do your own research, it's popping up a lot in conversations about coronavirus and about COVID vaccines. Doing your own research, it seems so innocent, but it can have serious consequences. Renee, what are the roots of this phrase? I feel like I used to hear it around QAnon craziness. Tase somebody over a mask. Tasing this lady over not wearing a damn mask. If some jerk exposed my mother to COVID because they didn't want to wear a mask, I would want to kill them. We can watch the experts, but we shouldn't be listening to Trump, a non-medical professional. Well, the answer is listen to Bill Gates. Bill's right around about a lot of things, <laughs> and he's at the steep learning curve in global health. And we're really seeing just how important it is to, to follow science. Yes, yes, exactly, and we need to listen to scientists. The idea that people are questioning the science behind the vaccine. The science checks out. Even if you don't believe in the science, you think you're tough enough and you're healthy enough and you're young enough. The scientists were right all along. Eventually, the science catches up with you. Are we doing more harm than good by questioning the science behind J&J? Trust that vaccine. Trust the experts. Mm. Listen to the medical experts. Trust the experts. If you don't understand the science, you don't know what you're fighting. Just let the experts speak. So maybe you should just shut up right now. You don't want to take advice from your golf buddy or from your aunt. You want to listen to the scientists. Can we all stop saying, I need to do my own research? You see the ultimate effects of what happened happens when you don't listen to the scientists. This isn't about being scared. This is about scaring us straight. Science, science, and science. Only listen to the scientist. If we follow science, imagine, instead of staying locked up in their rooms, they're able to hug their grandchildren. This isn't about freedom. It's about freedom for your your neighbors. You can give each other a hug as long as everyone is fully vaccinated. Listen to the scientists like the rest of us. We have to listen to the scientists. We'll listen to the scientists. Every scientist, every expert, listen to the experts. It's it's, uh, Listen to the science because the science works. Very much. Yeah. Uh, I think uh, trust science.